Hi everyone, welcome to How I Fix It. In this video, I will disassemble iPhone 12 Pro Max, and together we will see what inside the smartphone and compare it with iPhone 12 Pro. In the description under the video, I will add links to disassemble of all iPhone 12 models. By the way, this video is for a review purpose and doesn't include assembly process. If you need complete instruction with reverse assembly, in the description you will find links to playlist with step-by-step -step instructions on how to repair iPhone 12 Pro Max. What tools you need to disassemble iPhone 12 Pro Max? Screwdriver set, tweezers, plastic mediator, plastic tools, and suction cup for removing display. In the description I have links to all necessary tools. Disassembly process doesn't differ from previous models, still need to remove two screws near charging port using 0.8mm Pentelope screwdriver. To open the case, it is enough to warm up the display surface, even with ordinary hairdryer, for 3 minutes at temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. The case of iPhone 12 Pro Max opens like a book, that is, turn the display to the left. The display model in iPhone 12 Pro Max is the largest and thinner of all previous generations of iPhones. In the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the telephoto camera has a better optical zoom than the iPhone 12 Pro. You can see differences in the size of the camera model when comparing. So the Pro Max camera model is larger than on the iPhone 12 Pro, and because this, zoom is better. The bottom speaker is very easy to remove, no more adhesive tape or ribbon cables. If compare the size of the speaker case to the iPhone 12 Pro, you can see that on the iPhone Pro Max the bottom speaker is slightly larger. The adaptive engine in iPhone 12 Pro Max looks like the vibration motor of the iPhone 12 mini. Compared to the iPhone 12 Pro, you can see that the model is a little bit bigger. Let's move on to the battery. It is glued to the back housing with silicone adhesive tapes. Nothing new here, and now we will remove them. I love these sounds and I love when the silicone tapes tear. By the way, in the upper part of the battery there is absolutely no place to pull this tape at a convenient angle. Of course, there is a higher risk that this tape will tear. iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with the largest battery at 3687 mAh. This is 872mAh more capacious battery than the iPhone 12 Pro. And comparing these batteries, there is a clear difference in size, but this is not surprising. The 
The face ID module is the same as before, also has infrared camera, dot projector and front camera. All the same as on the previous iPhones. The SIM card reader and iPhone 12 Pro Max remains a separate model from the motherboard and can be quickly removed and easily replaced. This ribbon cable is connected to the back of the motherboard. You cannot disconnect this cable because it's soldered to the board. You can find this cable on all iPhone 12 Pro Max motherboards, but only for US market. iPhone 12 Pro Max for Asian and European market doesn't have such a ribbon cable on the motherboard. So why is this cable here? This ribbon cable directly connects to the board to the 5G mm wave antenna model. In the iPhone 12 Pro Max for US market, the 5G antenna model is built into the side of the smartphone back housing. On the outside of the back housing, this made area under power button, and this is window for 5G M-Wave antenna. Another antenna model is located on the back of the motherboard. What does it all mean? All iPhone 12 models support 5G bands sub 6 GHz. And in the iPhone 12 for US market, this 5G M-Wave model gives additional two bands, N260 and N261. So this M-Wave is a set of 5G frequencies that gives ultra-fast speed at short distances, making it best suited for dense urban areas. Uh, this is our light sensors and now located on the separate cable. And now we got the LiDAR scanner. This sensor improves the quality of photo, especially in low light conditions. Also with this sensor, the iPhone makes measurements in space more accurately. It is great that this sensor is separate from the camera model. The ribbon cable with the diode is very easy to remove and if the diode is damaged, it can be easily replaced. Let's see what's left on the back housing. In the lower part, a cable with the lighting connector. In the upper part, there is antennas model. In the middle of the case, there is a wireless charging model and now it has magnetic ring. 18 small nadium magnets are located along the edge of the wireless charging coil under this black film. So, no more surprises from Apple, iPhone 12 Pro Max teardown is complete. In the description I have links to all instructions for all iPhone 12 models. That's all, you were on how to fix it and see you guys next time.